are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. If we are just meeting, my name is Kathy and this is Coco. Coco, say hi. <laughs> she has her cute little pigtails today. You like them? <laughs> Coco, say hi, besties. <laughs> well, in today's DIY, I'm very excited because I'm bringing to you some fun spring DIYs with some, you know, fun little items like a watering can, a rake, you can find this at a Dollar Tree, or a cute little basket bicycle from Target Dollar Spot. Are you excited? <laughs> go ahead, press thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead, press the red button, become my bestie, and we will be in touch. We will have so much fun here, all right? <laughs> Let's get started. So for the first DIY, we are going to use a watering can. You can get one real cheap or use an old one that perhaps is leaking. So don't toss it out, we can decorate it. Also any other rake or garden tools, a cute little garden sign. This one comes from Target, but you can find one at a Dollar Tree as well. Also, we're gonna need some color coordinating ribbons and flowers. My daughter got me these real touch tulips. Look how realistic they look, even compared to the tulips I got from my bestie Nikki. Look at that, amazing. You can find these at Marshalls. I have some of these Scala lilies. They're also from there. For $10, you get a nice bunch. Also, you're gonna need a couple zip ties and twine. And this is gonna be such an easy, fun DIY. All we're gonna do is attach the rake to the watering can. You know, you play around with the placement, see what looks good. But I think I want to have the rake up like this. And I'm just going to attach it with a zip tie or two. And then you're going to play around and see how you like to decorate it. Attach your flowers and where you want to put your sign. Right, I think I have an idea. I'm just gonna rearrange this flower, see how I can space it out, and definitely need to add one more because I have four, you know, and I likes to have an odd number of things, right? <laughs> so five will definitely look better. I'm making like a cascading little arrangement and we are going to attach it just like that. Just to use another zip tie to tie it down to a handle just like so. And look at that, isn't that adorable already? So easy. And let's see how we're gonna attach that sign from the back. If we bend the leaf, you can see the wording. So cute, I think we're just gonna go for it. We are going to use hot glue all across and glue it from the back there to the rake. I'm loving this so much, so springy and so easy to do, right? Anybody can do it. All we need now is a bow on top. And I'm measuring here about eight inches 
and then eight inch fold in half, four inch loop is enough. This is a small watering can. I'm making one more loop, just a two loop bow and a short tail. If you have a larger watering can, you're gonna make a bigger bow, of course. And we are just going to use a pipe cleaner and tie it in the middle and add a second ribbon. I need a pop of yellow. <laughs> I love those yellow tulips and I think yellow ribbon is needed here. So this one uh, just, uh, let me see, um, four inch, maybe a smaller. How about like three inch loop? I think that's sufficient. Uh, we don't need a bow too big because this is, like I said, a small can. We're just going to tie this on top this is a whimsical bow. Uh, it's uh, very casual looking. Uh, one tail is going up, one going down, one is short, one is long. So it's not so precise. That's the whole beauty of it. And we are just cutting the fish tails, fold it in half and cut diagonally towards the wired edge. Spread it out and fluff it up and we are going to attach it right there on top of the flower stems. Cover up that zip tie. I'm loving this springy look. Just fluff up your ribbons and you are basically done. This was so easy to do. And if you like this idea, if you think you're gonna upgrade your watering can, please send me those tulip emojis. I love the tulips. I even went to the tulip farm with my daughter and friends. I'm gonna leave some video clips for you at the end of the video if you like to see. And you might want to even out those stems. We made a cascading arrangement, so some of them are sticking out too much. And uh, make a little hanger in the back. Just use a piece of jute string, attach it to your handle, and see how you wanna hang your watering can. Not only you can use it as a stand-up arrangement, you can also use it as a door hanger. And do we need a cherry on top? Duh! <laughs> How about a cute little insect pipe hanger? You know, it's easy to attach because the arm is a hanger already. Just like that. We're going to use a dab of hot glue. I noticed that the wings are purple. I wish we had a little bit of purple there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Can we attach a real tulip here? <laughs> I wish I had a couple. I have a color coordinating pansy, so I'm just going to cut one out and add it in the center of our bow. What do you think? I like it, but you know, my eye needs a third one. So how about a cute little butterfly? Let's attach it right there at the top. And here's the look at the final result. Like I said, you can have it as standing up as an arrangement. If you leave it on your front porch, just add in a few racks to weight it down. You can hang it on a doorknob on, or your shed or you can use it as a wreath and hang it up on your door like that. There's so many ways to display this beautiful arrangement. You can enjoy it through the spring and even summer. Perfect gift for Mother's Day or any garden lover out there. Which reminds me, a couple years ago, I made an adorable wreath with the mini garden tools, the cutest thing ever. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. I also want to encourage you to think outside the box. Before you toss out an old broken umbrella or a pair of rain boots that you don't wear anymore, maybe you could make a cute little arrangement for your home. You know, I have all these ideas on my channel, older videos that you might have missed, 
like one time my daughter was about to throw out these baskets and you know I just added a whole bunch of flowers cute little butterfly and created something amazing I didn't have to spend much and just repurpose things that uh, otherwise would go to the trash and of course we don't want to add to the garbage that's already piling up and polluting our earth right so hopefully i'll inspire you to give a second thought and second life to something old that you already have and here's one more look at our creations uh, before we move on to the second Why? We are going to use that tricycle basket from Target. Great value for $5. Tweety loves it. <laughs> but if you cannot find it, you might want to make a bicycle planter. I made it on my channel for a whopping $1. I'm so proud of that one. <laughs> In addition, we're gonna need some flowers and I use three bushels of Dollar Tree pansies. You can get all the supplies there, including a cute little bunny pig, some felt, a ribbon, a floral foam and moss. We're gonna start off with the pig, uh, cut it down because it's too long. And we're gonna save that piece because we're gonna use it in a minute. I have a little bit of felt here and I'm so glad that I saved even the little pieces because guess what? That bunny needs some ears. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna freehand some ears here and you know, just try to make them proportionate to the size of the butt. <laughs> oh my gosh, that didn't come out right. But you know what I mean. <laughs> And then we are going to cut out a little bit smaller pieces out of the blue felt and make like ear lining. Right, I'm going to glue it in. And we are going to pinch it like so and make cute little ears. I hope it looks like bunny ears. We're going to add that dowel in the middle. Actually, you know, it would be good to have two dowels, but I have one and I don't wanna look for the second one. I'm just gonna make it work with one pick. So just like that, we got a cute coordinating set just out of the scraps of felt. Worth the effort, right? And just in case you missed it, we also have a big bunny butt basket arrangement. I'm going to link the video for you in the description box below, just in case you want to watch it later. Next, we are going to cut apart all the florals and 
I love pansies. Do you love pansies? Look how pretty. We are going to glue in the floral foam. And we are going to start off with the tallest uh, flowers. So we're going to insert them in the center, just like so. Uh, just make sure they're not too tall. They're a little bit tall, but I think they need to be like this for the size of the basket. And we are going to insert that bunny bat in the back. I don't have floral foam there, but I'm just gonna glue it directly to the basket and hold it there for a minute. Next, we are going to add the ears to the front. And then we are going to add the florals first around the back. All right, I think this is good. And now we can move on to the front. Since I have multiple colors of flowers, it takes a, a little bit more playing around uh, to space these out correctly. But if you have just one color of flowers, that would be real easy and quick. Here, I'm just playing a little bit to see how I like it. All right, so the sides are done, the back and uh, the front. Of course, we have some space there, but we're gonna add a ribbon first. I love the gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree, but I realize it is too wide. It's gonna cover too much. So I decide to go with a one and a half inch uh, from Happy Lobby, just a tiny bow, three inch uh, tail, and then three inches folded in half. That's a one and a half inch loop. That's enough. Just a small little bow. Pinch it and tie it with a floral wire and attach it to the handlebar. How about we add one flower in the center? Why not? We can add a few extra flowers to the front.
You can adjust the leaves, slide them down to cover a little bit more and turn your arrangement all around to see what holes we have to fill. And I know we have a big hole underneath the bunny's paws. I didn't want to add the flowers there to take away from the paws. So we're gonna add some leaves. When I cut away the flowers or butterflies, I save the leaves and stems because they're perfect fillers or flower picks. After all that, if you still have any foam showing, you're just gonna have to fill that in with some moss. And let's not forget a little cherry on top, <laughs> or a couple. Okay, I think that's it. Take a look at the finished result. I hope you like it. today thank you so much for watching i hope you had enjoyed this video if you did go ahead press thumbs up 